Hi, Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches. Here is a simple tasty tuna sashimi recipe with a twist. Fresh albacore and yellowfin tuna are good species to try with this, but there are probably other species too. We will be using tuna loins for this recipe. The loins are the fillet that have had the skin, middle bloodline and bones removed and any other dark flesh with blood in it. Chill the loins for a few hours so they are cold before preparing. For the ingredients we will be using olive oil, lemon pepper, Chinese five spice and soy sauce for dipping. So get your workbench set up and ready to prepare the sashimi. Start with pouring a little olive oil into a flat dish and take one of the tuna loins and roll it in the oil so it is covered all over. It should be covered but preferably not dripping in oil. Then start to rub the five spice into the loins. You may want to experiment with the amount of spice you want to rub onto the surface. Start with a light coating and add more if you want stronger flavours. Tuna has a delicate flesh so when it's fresh you don't want to overpower the flavour with too much spice or lemon pepper. Heat a pan and add some oil. When the pan is hot, sear the tuna for 6 to 10 seconds on each side of the tuna loin. You don't want to cook it anymore, just the surface should go white. Loins are usually flat sided so you can cook a nice even layer on each side. Cook each end as well briefly. Now comes the time to slice the tuna into sashimi portions. A very sharp knife is important. A longer bladed knife that is drawn fully across the loin will help prevent it from breaking up. The cooked flesh will sometimes pull away from the raw flesh but with careful cutting you can avoid this. Carefully arrange on a plate and eat with wasabi and soy sauce. This is Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches.